Hello everyone, it's Anfernita. Today's story is called A New World. The memory verse is from Genesis chapter 1, verse 1. It says, In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Today's message is we worship God when we thank Him for creating our world. Have you ever noticed how beautiful nature is? The colors of a butterfly, the beauty of a sunset, or the amazing stars? All these didn't just happen. God planned each one as part of the perfect world He created. God had a plan to create a world. He wanted this world to be beautiful and full of creatures that would walk, fly, crawl, swim, and talk. God found a dark, empty, watery spot in the universe. He said, Let there be light. And light appeared. God called the light day and the darkness night. The light was morning and the dark was night. Together, these were the first day. But everything was still watery, not good for walking, flying, or crawling. So God spoke again, Let there be something to divide the water in two. The water divided into two parts with a space in between. The space was dry and light and blue. God called the upper part sky. It was the second day. Next, God decided to make a place where creatures could walk and crawl. He said, Water, come together. Make room for dry ground. God called the ground land. He called the water that was left seas. He looked at the land and said, Produce plants and trees for food and shelter. This happened on the third day, and God saw that it was good. Then God was ready to make lights. He said, Lights, hang yourselves in the sky. And lights appeared. A big one, the sun, marked the day. A smaller one, the moon, marked the night. Together with smaller lights, the stars, they would mark the seasons and years. With these day markers in place, God ended the fourth day. And God saw that it was good. Now the earth was ready for some of the creatures God had planned. Sea creatures? The water is ready for you. Birds, the air is ready for you, said God. And fish and birds appeared. God blessed them, saying, Fill the seas, fill the air, multiply and fill the earth. That ended the fifth day. And God saw that it was good. The next day God said, I'm ready to make animals. And he did. Large ones and small ones. He told the animals to multiply and fill the earth. But he wasn't finished yet. Let us make man in our image, he said. Then God did something different. He gathered up some clay and began to shape it. He formed it into a creature with two legs, two arms, a body, and a head. Then God breathed into the face of the creature, and the creature opened its eyes and sat up. It was a man. God called the man Adam. He showed Adam everything he had just made. This is for you, Adam. Take care of it. Then God put Adam to sleep. While Adam was sleeping, God took Adam's rib and made a wife for him. When Adam saw his wife, he exclaimed, You are my perfect partner. He called her Eve, and that was the end of the sixth day. And God saw all that he had made, and it was very good. The next day, God looked at all the good things he had made, and he and Adam and Eve and all the other creatures rested and enjoyed their new home. It was the seventh day, the wonderful day we call Sabbath. 
God blessed the seventh day and made it holy, because on it He rested from all the work of creating that He had done. God's new world was complete. This podcast is read by Franita Buddy for gracelink.net. Created and produced by Falvo Fowler. Post produced by Faith Toe at Studio El Piso. The theme music is by Clayton Kinney. Animation and artwork by Giogo Godoy. The audio engineer was Karel Holness. For more information, please visit gracelink.net.